Thanks. Amani Duncan is known as one of the most dynamic marketing executives in the music business. Beyonce was interested in hiring her at the same time Sean Puffy Combs was. Well, Sean won. And since joining Martin Guitar in 2011 as director of promotional marketing, she was promoted in a year to vice president of brand marketing. Amani joins me as we continue our series Winning at Work, where once a month, we talk with a community leader about their career. Amani, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You're welcome. Now, you've worked at some of the most iconic companies in the music industry, but serving as the chief marketing officer at Bad Boy Worldwide Entertainment was one of your most exciting positions. Why is that? Uh, working for Sean was very exciting. Being able to oversee all of his uh, brands from a marketing standpoint, from fragrances to spirits to music, television, film, presented endless opportunities as well as challenges. I mean, one day you could be having a meeting with Estee Lauder about the launch of a new fragrance, and the very next day you'll be on a plane to Los Angeles flying uh, to meet with Fox Searchlight Picture executives because he's going to be featured in, a, in an upcoming film. Um, we would joke around the office a lot uh, by saying working with Sean must be like playing for the New York Yankees. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go up to bat and, you know, hit four home runs, and the very next day you were expected to hit five. Wow. So he was tough on you guys. He was tough, but it was a great working environment. Mm -hmm. The music industry is really competitive. What would you say people should do who work in competitive industries to get a jump sure. on, on the competition? Well, you should learn to be indispensable. If your manager feels that he or she cannot be successful without you, then you've just positively shifted the paradigm for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very easy to follow those just instructions. What would you tell your just graduated from college self based on what you know now? Mm, to trust myself more. Early in my career, I, I doubted my capabilities constantly. Even when I knew a project would be executed successfully, I created an environment of anxiety and stress, which was completely unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Mistakes will be made throughout your career, and they should be made, mm -hmm. because they not only give you an opportunity to learn from them, but a chance to do better and be better. Okay. Now, Hillary Clinton says the glass ceiling broke when she was uh, nominated as the presumed Democratic nominee. Mm -hmm. But what, what, what were your challenges as a woman, and, and how do you overcome them? Well, I would like to believe that I'm no different than any professional woman. I mean, I've shared, or I've had my fair share of workplace challenges. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really important for female executives to remember that we've worked hard, and we deserve our place at the table. So we need to be prepared, not allow our voices to be minimized, to be experts in our field, and most importantly, be confident enough to stand behind your work or your position, mm -hmm. even if it sometimes means that you have to stand alone. What are some other keys that you'd offer for winning at work? Well, for me, the key to winning at work is to be the way, which is creating limitless possibilities for yourself by living life powerfully. One of my uh, previous employers and mentors once said to me, Amani, stop worrying about what people may or may not say about you. Work hard, be successful, and let your work speak for itself. And I must say that was one of the best pieces of advice I've ever been given. Wow. Well, that's great. Well, on that note, let's toast to winning at work. Cheers. This is non-alcoholic sparkling juice. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda.